Oh, Canada, my home and native land, true patriot love. Cole Fogel here on A Healthy Balance, and today is Canada Day, July 1st, 2020. And I want to wish all the Canadians in Taiwan a very happy Canada Day, all the Canadians around the world a happy Canada Day, and all the Canadians in Canada a happy Canada Day. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. My wife just asked me a good question, what do I miss about Canada? Of course, I miss all the people in Canada. I miss maple syrup? Because, you know, every year we go to the farmer's market in the countryside, you can get fresh maple syrup. So I really miss that and the raspberries and the blueberries and the blackberries. I miss my cottage. Uh, I grew up uh, living in the city of Toronto, Canada. Years and years ago, my grandfather built this cottage he had an old carpenter basically tell him, put the nail here, put the wood here. And he literally built the cottage by himself. And it was a summer home that I went to every year. And my British relatives would come visit and we would spend summers with my British relatives and my aunt and my uncle, and my grandma, and my grandpa and my sister and all my cousins. And I have so many fond memories of barbecues and swimming in the lake and catching worms using mustard. Long story that I'll maybe talk about another time. Long days where the sun doesn't set until 10, sometimes 10.30 at night. So those are some of my memories of Canada and let's bring Canada closer to Taiwan today and celebrate Canada Day. Right now, I'm going to take you to a very special place. So let's go. All right, this one brings me back to my childhood. It's kind of suiting for Canada Day. It's the only song I can play on the piano. And I went to see Richard Marks live with my one of my best friends, Tim, in Canada. And Canada's Wonderland. And it seems so fitting because I can't go home right now. I took for granted all the time. I'm seriously missing my family and my friends back home today and I will see you guys next year. Oh, got a little emotional there. I love where I live right now but that never takes away that warm feeling you have in your heart when you think about home and you think about your mama and your baba and, and all your pangyo that you know back home. Today I feel really far away, but I know that I will be home to visit soon enough. I love you, Canada. I will see you next summer.